This watercolor tutorial is all about having fun. We are going to paint some abstract watercolor floral composition just by putting onto paper some water and then adding onto water some pigments. There are no rules, you can use the shapes as you want, the colors that you want, and the main target is just to have fun. Are you ready for this? Let's paint together! In this abstract watercolor tutorial, we're gonna have fun. This means that we're gonna lay onto the paper some water, we're gonna add colors, we're gonna see what all of this will bring us to, and we're gonna just experiment with ourselves, with the colors and with everything we have. I have my Archie's paper, my watercolor Winsor & Newton colors, and two cups of water. I'm going to proceed with a Princeton Heritage round brush size 6, but you can actually use any brush you'd like to use for this video. The way I wanted to proceed, and I would recommend you to try as well, is to lay some water onto the paper and then just add colors that remind us the colors of nature, of the flowers, of the stems, leaves, and just see what will come out of this. I put some water onto the paper. This is in a round shape, so it can remind the central part of a flower. And then, for example, I can add some petals, just shapes of petals with water. That then, in a second step, I'm going to fill with colors. So for example now I can take some yellow and add it to the center. And then for example for this flower I can do the petals for example in a red color, maybe with a bit of orange. And I can add the color onto the petals and let watercolor, the paper, and everything do its job. I can change the colors. As you can see, I am very loose. The colors don't need necessarily to be the same for all the petals. I can change the hue. I can change the values. Changing the U means literally changing the colors. And changing the value means to remove a part of the color by dipping our brush into water and using basically a lighter version of the color. I can start with another flower, for example, this can be another center of the flower, and I can add petals. Or shapes that remind petals. All around. And by letting water touch the petals we already created we will have this effect where the colors are going where the color is going to bleed into the new flower i'm gonna add some petals some orange to the petals i'm gonna add yellow to the center of the flower And I will allow the colors to play with water and I will allow them to dance onto this paper 
and just travel wherever they feel because there is water. Not all the flowers need to have the same shape. Petals can be of different shapes and of course different colors. I can drag some of the petals I already created with my brush and I can let the color just move because it's not dry yet start creating another flower here some petals just with water and then I'm going to start to add colors yellow for the center of the flower and then why not we can add the same color for example with a bit of yellow ochre onto these petals and we can check and see what this combination of color and water is going to do on paper for example now I would like to add a bit of pink this is opera rose and I can check how Opera Rose and Yellow Ochre are blending together. I'm going to add a petal here. I'm going to add other flowers maybe one here looking the upper right side so it's turned the other way and then we'll add petals and just doesn't have to be perfect we just want to experiment with colors we want to become familiar with how the water and the colors and the paper we are working with are working together which behaviors these colors have with the paper and the water we are using I'm going to add some yellow ochre this time and then I can add maybe petals this time of a blue color You can use any color you'd like for this exercise. You don't have to use the same colors as I do, you just need to have fun. Another flower on top here. 
its petals. And then I'm going to add the colors yellow ochre and yellow lemon for the center blending with the blue that comes from the flower we have previously created and then maybe some Windsor orange for other petals Then I think I'm going to add another flower here and then I will start to add the leaves, stems, So now for our leaves and our stems, I'm going to use some green, this is some sap green. I'm going to add a bit of red to close the gap because I want the green to align with the colors that we have. So I use a bit of red because these colors, these flowers have this red um, scarlet lake so I'm going to mute the green 
with this thread and I'm going to create some stems. This is an abstract and very loose watercolor flower composition so you don't have to be too precise. This exercise allows us to experiment, to have fun, to see what the colors are going to do when they are mixed together onto paper. So don't be too afraid to try. And then I'm going to add to this green a bit of blue in order to create a green that is a bit darker. So giving this green a different hue. And I'm going to add other stems. And I'm going to start to create some leaves. Very loose style leaves, so just by, by adding some pressure and then using the tip of the brush, releasing the pressure. Removing some green into our cup of water to have different values of this green and give different feelings of dimension because this, for example, this leaf can be, for example, in the back, so it's a lighter color. The idea, I repeat, is to have fun mix different colors together, see what these colors are creating. Checking what we like. Experimenting with shapes, for example, of petals and leaves with color values. Abstract compositions are perfect to try something that can bring us out of our comfort zone and even maybe sometimes finding new ideas for compositions that maybe we are not used to think of and uh, we might like. You can experiment with the wet on wet technique. You can add more details when the flowers or maybe the leaves are already dry and then you will experiment with the wet and dry technique. Then maybe we can create a different green by adding a bit of yellow to our palette. And then maybe we can create also some leaves of the same color. 
of different types, even different shapes. And these are achieved by giving a longer pressure and then releasing using the belly of our brush and then releasing. I hope you enjoyed watching this watercolor tutorial. Did you learn something from it or did it uh, sparkle your inspiration to do something uh, different from what you are used to paint or something new? Let me know in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this one, also let me know in the comments below. You can follow my journey if you subscribe to this channel and along the way you can also learn with me. Thank you for watching, see you next time.